Hey everyone, so can you solve this SAT problem? It says in the figure above, uh, side BD is parallel to side AE. What is the length of side CE? All right, so first off, we have two triangles, right? We have triangle uh, EAC and also triangle DBC. So the first thing to notice here is that there is similarity present between these two triangles. Now, why? Well, because of angle, angle, right? So for this first triangle, ang uh, triangle EAC, it has that 90 degree angle in the corner. And we can see that for the other triangle, uh, triangle DBC, it also has a 90 degree angle, which is formed right there. And now where is that uh, other corresponding angle? Well, highlight it here now. It's going to be this angle C right here, right? So it's going to be present in both triangles. Um, and therefore, it makes the theorem of similarity true. And so knowing that these two triangles are similar, we know that the side lengths are going to be uh, corresponding. And so in that case, we can scale up whatever uh, numbers we already know based on a scale factor, based on the numbers that were given in order to find the missing side length. So here, we're trying to find C, so this side right here. Oops. So, oh my God, cannot draw today. All right, so first off, what is the scale factor? Well, we know the two corresponding sides here, we can look at right here, 6 and 18. So that's a scale factor of 3 between those two triangles, right? And now we just want to find the missing side length CD because if we find that, we're going to scale that up in order to find CE. So CD, well, it's going to be equivalent to, we just use Pythagorean theorem. Uh, so we'll just say six squared plus eight squared equals C squared. So we get uh, six, six squared 36 plus 64 is 100, and therefore C squared. And then if we take the square root of both sides, we ultimately get C equals 10, all right? Um, so in our case, C will just be the side length of side CD. And because we know the scale factor is three, we would have to apply the scale factor to our value of 10. And so ultimately, our final answer for the length of side CE would be 3 times 10, which would be 30.